Today, I am back with another mystery collection opening. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic mystery collection opening video. In this video, I have a collection that I really have no idea what's inside. I have a general idea, but I have no idea what the specifics of the cards or the packs are. By the way, there's both sealed product and cards in here, so if you like one or the other or both, then you're probably gonna love this. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. This is a reprint, and then we have an original print, Thousand Eyes. That's from Dark Revelation 1, so it's not even Pharaoh's Servant. And then a Metal Raiders original print, Change of Heart. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know how much you think we should pay for all of this stuff that you see in this video. Yo, I'm back. But Ruxin, where are you back from? If you guys don't know, I streamed on Whatnot back in 2021 and I've made my return to Whatnot. If you guys don't know what Whatnot is, Whatnot is a streaming platform where you can sell stuff live. And if you're a viewer on Whatnot, you can show up to the live stream, watch the stuff get open, watch stuff get sold. It's really fun to see the auction prices and people going back and forth trying to get different stuff. And you might think, I don't really want to spend any money right now. Well, that's where I come in. Use my link down below below and you'll get $15 for free when you sign up for whatnot. It doesn't have to be on my stream. It could be on Team Samurai stream. It could be on Simply Unlucky stream. It can be completely unrelated to Yu-Gi-Oh because this isn't just a TCG platform. There's also a lot of other cool stuff like shoes and other collectibles like that that are being sold on whatnot. And I will be streaming live Thursday, March 30th at 5 p.m. Central. We'll be selling stuff like epic Yu-Gi-Oh singles and old school Yu-Gi-Oh packs. And I will be giving away over $500 worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this stream. So you guys want to make sure you're there. And some of these giveaways will not require a purchase at all. You can simply be viewing the stream and win. And don't forget to use that link down below to get that $15 off when you come to the stream so you can save yourself some money. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, let's start it off with the sealed stuff, which I believe is in here. I took a little peek and I was like, okay, there is sealed stuff. Uh, we're gonna start off with that. Okay, wow, well, then maybe that's, maybe we should save that for later. Okay, so then we'll start with this one. It's a little bit more appropriate. I mean, all this stuff is bangers, so keep that in mind. But it was inside of a, uh, you know, red eyes, Joey tin. So that's always a good sign if that's where your sealed stuff is being stored. Okay, so here we actually do have a couple of newer packs. Let's see. So we have Blazing Vortex. So we can pull the Pot of Prosperity Starlight Rare. Definitely going to happen. Then we have a Dark Revelation Volume 2. You can pull the Blackluster Soldier CED is both in here. Should have been a Dark Magician Girl in this set, but they didn't actually add it for some reason. Another Blazing Vortex. Interesting, like, mix. Dark Revelation and then Blazing Vortex. Pot of Prosperity. Going to happen. We got Volume 2 again. And then a First Edition Flaming Eternity pack. I don't know if this is a retail or hobby. Don't remember off the top of my head. I think this is hobby, actually. The packs are always one like digit later so if it was 103030 it'd be 103031 for the uh the retail pack so that's just a little lesson for you guys if you didn't know that then we have a, a few more flaming eternity so i'm assuming that these are all hobby but i don't know that wow this is actually pretty sick i didn't realize how many of these packs were actually in here this is pretty exciting so we'll probably be able to see some of these on the uh on the channel opened up which is pretty cool so yeah 1025 so it looks like if i'm right these are hobby packs i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly the 24 was the box code so that's pretty cool. All right, uh, the Blazing Vortex seems kind of random because that was like it for the for the new stuff. So we have a uh, Dark Revelation Volume Three. This is kind of an iffy Dark Revelation, probably the worst one, but still not bad. Volume One, of course, is a classic from the very beginning. We have volume Two again, Volume Two. So a bunch of Dark Revelation here, just. Uh, you know, just all three of them. Unfortunately, no four, but that's kind of in a different area because that's Secret Rares and it came out in like a different time. So, you know, not expected to have those. Then we have, uh, oh, you might guys might get a little peek over there. Ooh, what is that? I don't know. Take your guesses. We got Dark Revelation Volume 1 again, Volume 1. Okay, upside down, we've got Dark Revelation Volume 3, Volume 3, and oh, wow, we're talking Legend of Blue Eyes. These are reprint packs. You can tell from this logo right here. This, so there are a bunch of different logos. I've, I've said this many, many times on the channel, but I want to say it for newer viewers so like this right here is not the oldest logo it's the second logo so they had the original logo which was a square and had like the little squiggly lines and then they went to this in 2003 and then this is the newest logo which is how you know you're getting a reprint pack but we're getting even more reprint packs coming up next month so if you guys are excited for that get hyped we're gonna have a discount code coming out i think april 1st so keep an eye out for that with sassy Auto. so we got a bunch of reprints there that's cool and then a first edition flaming eternity to go along with all those other ones so that's just the first 10 there's two more of them next up we have a rainbow dragon 10 you get a little sneak peek in there with the window man who, who misses the windows let me know in the comments uh, if you guys missed the windows for all the stuff so wow okay now we're talking guys i mean we were already talking but we're talking again okay even more more chitter chatter is happening right now okay so in here we have a uh, duelist pack zane truesdale 
Hill. We've got Duels Pack Jaden Yuki. That has an interesting look to it for some reason. I don't know. Okay, we have a Magic Ruler that's unlimited. Another Magic Ruler. It seems like Magic Ruler might have a lot of packs in here, which is pretty cool. Lost Millennium First Edition. We have Legacy of Darkness First Edition. Very nice. First edition is always nice. First edition for Honor Guardian. We've opened many of these on our channel. So, same with these, but we've had some pretty good luck. Let's see if we can continue that. We've got a first edition Soul of the Duelist. I wonder if this is a hobby pack. I think this is not a hobby pack. This feels like it doesn't have a lot of cards in it. How many cards per pack? Nine cards per pack. This feels like it has like seven cards for some reason. Then, there's still more in this tin. We have a Dark Crisis. Unfortunately, not first set. So, here it's the, the red banner. But this is always red banner for Dark Crisis because it came out in 2003 or after. Let's sell the Duelist first edition again. I'm assuming that is another, yeah, same code. We have wacky packages. Who remembers when we opened these on Twitch? If you're a Twitch fan, go check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash ruxin34. stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, if you guys want to see that. We have a Magic Ruler. We have Labyrinth of Nightmare First Dead, Frontier Guardian Unlimited, more Magic Ruler Unlimited. Man, Magic Ruler Unlimited, it feels like you find those so much easier than First Dead. First Dead, you just don't find them loose very often, but still, original print. Oh, yeah, as we were talking about, that's the original logo. So just to point that out there if you didn't notice already. And then we have a few more Magic Ruler. Pretty amazing. We have the uh Konami logo, Unlimited, Invasion of Chaos. So, yeah, these are older. They're not the reprint, but they are also not first edition. So now we're on to our third 10. If you guys are liking this so far, then I think you'll probably like this last one as well. Based on the top two that I saw, it looks pretty nice. So I'm going to do these like this. Let's see if I can not spoil it too much. I'm going to go like this. We have a... Oh, there's the Blazing Vortex. I found some more. We got Pharaonic Sphero Servant. That's different. We have Pharaoh Servant Unlimited. So look, here you can see the difference here. Red Banner, 2003 and after. The Konami logo, 2002. So there's a big difference there. We've got the Metal Raider. These are not the reprint because they do have the red banner. These also come in the original print too because they're from 2002. So cool stuff there. So you can, ooh, a little bit of a difference there if you guys can tell. Like it looks like they got printed a little bit different. It could be different times. You know, there could be tin ones. There could be after that, you know, maybe a Forbidden Legacy, stuff like that. Europe Metal Raiders pack. So that's cool. And then a few more Blazing Vortex for those Pot of Prosperity that we're definitely going to pull. And it looks like here are the rest of them. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, these packs have something big time in them so we can pull that pot. It'd be pretty amazing. Then we have, uh, it looks like a couple of more though. So maybe almost the full booster box. Hopefully there was not a Starlight pulled and then, you know, just the rest were in there. Let's see what the rest has. We have a Invasion of Chaos. I'm pretty amazing. We've got one, two. Then here are the reprints. You can see the difference here. These uh, Konami logos. So this is educational, guys, when you're buying your packs. That'll help out. We got more reprints there. And then there's going to be a different uh, 25th anniversary logo for the ones coming out this year. We've got Magician's Force. Okay, now we're talking. Get that Dark Magician girl. Uh, not like we pulled one recently or two, maybe. <laughs> you know, no big deal. We've got the Magician's Force. Pretty amazing. Lots of those, actually. Veronic Guardian. We have a couple Ancient Sanctuary. Got to have some of those. Raging Battles in there. And then another Labyrinth of Nightmare. So that is all the sealed product. Um... Not bad. There's some good stuff in there. And now we have some sealed stuff. So, or not sealed, singles. We have a little binder here. It's a standard. We got a little school supply stuff going on here. But uh, to do this, you know, we have trouble with binders. So I'm going to be picking up the camera, doing a little no face cam action while we do this so we can appreciate all the cards, see all the good stuff inside. So let's do that. All right. So here we go. We have our standard binder. We have, okay, starting it off pretty hot with a Serpent Knight Dragon. Psychic Overload. We got some ultimate rares in here. We got a Radiant Mirror Force. We pulled this guy the other day, didn't we? Yeah, first Ed Force of the Breaker. We got Urban Legacy there. Wait, what is that one? That's okay. BPT. Very cool. This is actually a secret rare from the Duelist Genesis. I always forget this is a secret rare. Next pack we have, or not pack, page, I should say. First Ed IOC Dimension Fusion. That's actually pretty big. A uh, Lava Golem is pretty popular right now in the meta, actually, which is hilarious because it's such an old card. Uh, Shinado, very nostalgic for me, first edition. So we're looking at old school stuff in this binder, which is really cool. Uh, Destiny Arrow Dogma, that's just a super, no ulti there. Firewall Dragon, hey, got the, uh, what, what's it called, Errata, so it's not as good anymore, but hey, it's a crazy card. Then we have uh, some more old school stuff. Some of these cards are sliding out. Fortunately, they're sliding back in because I set it up like this, but it looks like a bunch of supers here, nothing too crazy. We've got a Coach Soldier Wolf Bark. Who remembers when we used to pull that all the time? That was an old school, uh, old school time. We got First Ed Creature Swap. That's not bad either. We defensive Tactics from Gladiator's Assault. We have our Cloudians, Evil Hero, Malicious Edge. So nothing too crazy on that page. Just a bunch of supers, which is some cool old school GX stuff. We have, uh, ooh, Neo Spatian, Neo Parshath, not Spatian, Neo Parshath, the Sky Paladin. Uh, great Shogun Chien. This is a nice Ultimate Rare as well. Oh, Security Orb. Oh, I thought that was an Ultimate Rare. Those are really hard to find, Ultimate Rare from Glass. Still really cool. Dark World Dealing is also cool. Cyber Ogre, Soul of Fire, Tragedy, Toon World. 
Okay, yeah, so cool stuff, cool old school. Radiant Mirror Force, Black Ray Lancer. Yeah, so we're looking at, okay, it seems like, oh wait, Bottomless is a crazy card now because of uh, Trap Tricks, got really expensive. Um, the Gem Turtle, anything else too crazy in here? I mean, it's not as crazy as like the packs, but there's also some pretty good stuff. Feather Duster, that's a great pull out of Joey's World. Of course, the Harvey's Pet Dragon's nostalgic. Oh, whoa, oh, Ghost Rare, I didn't even see that guy down there. Ghost Rare, Galaxy Eyes, Photon, who remembers when I pulled this out of a extra card in the blisters? You don't remember because you weren't there, but I told you about it, so you might remember that part. <laughs> pretty cool Ghost Rare right there. Uh, some old uh, Pharaonic Guardian cards, which is really nice. Grass looks greener. Banned, but crazy when it's not banned, so it'll probably get unbanned at some point, right? Okay, we got ooh, more Lava Golem, more Ulties. That's beautiful. We got a Thousand Azure Strict, just like the giveaway today. Pulling the Rug, that's cool for Edison side decks. Overload Fusion's beautiful as well. So there's actually like a lot of decent cards in here. <laughs> We've got of sprinkled throughout. They don't start at the beginning and taper off. They kind of just keep going. Okay, more cool stuff there. Anything else crazy? Make sure to let me know if I miss something. Uh, whoa, we're talking old school. Nostalgic condition, guys. Nostalgic condition for that Blue Eyes White Dragon. You love to see it. That means it was loved and it was uh, enjoyed by young kids probably at some point. We have a Horse Black Twin Dragon Level 8. It's a beautiful print of that card. It's only like five bucks or something, so it's a steal. Um, maybe it's a little bit more than that, but it's not too crazy. I always thought this evil hero Inferno looked really good. And then, of course, Rainbow Dragon looks amazing. Everybody loves that card. Uh, Honest, they're great. Uh, hero Klinos, not a great Gladiator Beast card, but it is used. Uh, Shrink, we have not much. Oh, Eradicator. That's actually like a $10 card because of uh, Labyrinth and stuff. Anything else too crazy? Another Eradicator. Plasma Vice, not a bad a little promo there. We got some more it's 10 promos coming up here shrink anything else crazy before we get to the end we got some other nice stuff nothing too wild yet it's a bunch of 10 promos which are pretty much fan favorites because as kids they were the easiest thing to get they were nostalgic monsters they bring back a lot of memories master collection promos as well very similar thing the master collection was a little harder to find probably okay well it looks like that was on that page okay more master collection stuff you'll love to see it then we've got an LOB reprint, it appears. We've got uh, oh, more reprints. we got IOC stuff, the big three. It's pretty cool. we got an Exodia. Is that Master Collection again? That's a lot of Exodia. Warrior of Tradition. This is actually a crazy expensive card. If you watch Guess That Price, you probably know that. And uh, that looks like it for all the all the binder. That was a pretty solid binder. All right, guys, that's it for the Mr. Collection. Make sure to let me know down below how much we should spend on this. It's going to be interesting because there's like sealed and there's some pretty nice singles as well. Not like the craziest singles we've seen, but there's definitely some nice stuff in there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content just like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.